Hi, I'm Steve Wilmus, and today I'm going to show you how to use a penetrometer during your excavation and trenching to measure the type of soil that you actually are working with. This is our penetrometer. It looks like this. We have a probe end. We have a measurement end over here. There, stick it out, All right, so we can see that. Um, and then we have on our probe right here is a little groove and that tells us just how far we need to push into the dirt or try to push into the dirt or solid rock. But we already know about solid rock that we don't necessarily have to measure it. I would do it anyway, just so you have the documentation. And that's one of the reasons that we want to use a penetrometer versus our thumb, right? Just our thumb is good. But everybody's thumb, look at this right here, if you can see, my thumb is much bigger than that probe. Some people's thumbs are even bigger, some are smaller, some are harder, some, you know, do martial arts, have a tougher thumb and all this kind of stuff. The amount of pressure that you use with your thumb can vary, so you may not be getting a good reading. Now, this is Jimmy, our friend, who passed away during our excavations because we didn't measure the soil properly and we had a collapse. And that's really the problem is if you're the person that is responsible for determining soil type, if you're the person that is actually looking out for the safety and has the responsibility for other individuals inside that excavation and trench, you really want something that's defensible. Okay, sure, your thumb, you can go through the whole legal issues, but if you're documenting and you're using the same penetrometer and it's been calibrated, it's working properly and all that, you have a really good solid defense. And you're creating a safer, 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 safer environment for everyone that works with you. So in this particular issue, we just are going to pretend that we have dirt here. We're going to take that clump of dirt and we're gonna take this penetrometer right here. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that my measurement tool here is pressed all the way down. And now I'm just going to start to apply force to it. And as you can see, that's going to give me a measurement, right? We're fuzzy on that one. We're fuzzy over here. Yep. Let's see. Let's see if we can unfuzz it. No. Nope. So we'll go right in here, take a look. But you can see right up here, it tells us the tonnage is over 20, I'm sorry, over two tons, right? Right there, over two tons. So that's what we're looking at is how far down do we press? So if the dirt were to give like on my skin and I press, I'm only going to get a little bit, right? I, I can't. I mean, if it just presses in all the way in, right? If I have some hard dirt, hard soil, I'm going to get a higher tonnage level, okay? If I have something that's soft and I can press what I'm looking to do, look at my hand here. I'm pressing, I've already pressed into the mark, the guide, the little hash right here that tells me how far I have to press that in. So again, if it goes down, what type of soil do I have? I don't really have firm soil. This is going to collapse. The firmer it is, the more tonnage you get up here. So that's all you have to do is press your probe up to the guide mark, the little hash mark right here. You just press that in. And as soon as it reaches that hash mark, oops, as soon as it reaches the hash mark, you now have the reading, right? So again, if I have my hand here, which is soil, and I can press into all the way to that hash mark, you can see the hash mark disappear. It's kind of going into my skin here, right? Down and in, and this is not moving. That tells us the type of soil. So that's as simple as it gets penetrometer, really easy. Push it down to the hash mark. If you can't push the hash mark in, you're getting more tonnage, more tonnage. And you can see this thing goes way down there, right? It'll read up to 4.5, all, all the way to 4.5 ton edge for us. So again, um, this is it. Penetrometer, super easy, 
super easy to use, reliable and defensible, and you're getting a better reading than just using your thumb. Again, I can do that with my thumb, but how far down should I go with my thumb? It's all part of a bigger plan to make sure that you're staying safe. Get a penetrometer, they're 90 bucks, and it's simple and easy, makes you look cool, makes you look professional, and keeps everyone safe. All right, that's it, that's how you use it. Thank you, and we will see you next time. Thanks for joining in, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to answer them, thank you.